Isn't that a nice blue? What a stunning bike. The fork is here, already wrapped up. So I think he did an awesome job. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome to a new video. Today is my birthday actually, I'm turning 27. It's the 31st of August. <laughs> Thank you for all the birthday wishes in the comments, appreciate them very much. Even though I think this video won't come out today, sorry for that. But uh, in this video, we're gonna start a new project and it has to do with my beloved Shirley Pacer, which is hanging over here. And we want to give it a new look, a new color basically. So why are we going to do that? Because yeah, I love everything about the Shirley Pace. It's a nice chromoly 4130 frame tubing. It's quite light, it weighs like 11 kilos. I love everything about it, but the color, not so much. It's a blue-gray looking color, so I wanted something splashier, something fresher. And uh, then, it was like one and a half years ago, I saw this bicycle here. I'm gonna show you this. Yeah, I saw this bicycle, it's a Velo held, and I actually ordered it one and a half years ago, but they had some problems in terms of production. So the frames, they don't make them themselves. They come from Taiwan, as all of the bicycle frames nowadays come from Thailand, Taiwan, China, which is not a bad thing. I don't, definitely don't want to say that, but, and then they had to cancel the order, unfortunately, due to some misinformation. So that was a bummer. And yeah, it put me away from getting a new fresh gravel bike with a fresh color that I want. So this bicycle, only the frame would cost with a steel frame, and a steel fork would cost 850 euros, which is a lot. And if I compare this to this bike, the Shirley Pacer, I bought it second hand uh, one year ago and I only paid 750 euros for the whole bicycle the way it is set up almost. Only the wheels, the Mavic wheels, they cost 100 euros. I added them later on. But uh, other than that, 750 euros for this whole bicycle, which is absolutely amazing. And then you compare this to this new frame, the Velo Head Gravel Bike Icon X is the real name. Only the frame costs 850 euros with a custom color. But as soon as I saw that flashy ice blue color, I wanted to have it. That's what we're gonna do today. So I'm gonna make myself a little present today for it and we're gonna start this process with this bike. So it's gonna get a new look. In order to do that, we need to put the bike down, put it here on the bike stand and get rid of all the parts that are on there. I had to order a few tools for the bottom bracket. It's a Shimano Ultegra, so it's a Holotech internal hub. So we should be able to get that off. Also the steerer tube, we should be able to take that apart quite easily. I'm only not so sure if we are able to get rid of these cups, the Chris King hubs, which are in place here. So I might have a tool for that, a self-made tool and to get these off, but I guess that's gonna be a difficult one. Other than that, it should be not too much of an issue to uh, put this bike apart. And then we're gonna put this in my Citroën C3 Picasso, my minivan, and we're gonna drive to Belgium because there's the guy who does the powder coating and uh, we already talked about the color, so uh, that's all set in. Yeah, then we're gonna get an awesome bicycle. The paint job will cost 125 euros, so not too much, I would say. Uh, leave me in the comments down below how much you paid for something like this. But I think 125 euros is a good price for repainting a bike or powder coating a bicycle frame. Also, what we're going to change is the tires. Currently, there are 32 seat tires on there, but uh, you could also squeeze a 37 tire on there, I'm sure. And that's what we're going to try um, to also give it a, yeah, a flashier look. Also, the handlebar tape, not so sure if we're going to stay like that, but we'll see about that. So without further ado, let's get cracking, get this bike off and yeah, put it on the bike stands and then start to remove all the parts. I'm going to be speeding up the footage while I put the bike apart so you don't have to wait too much. And next time we see us, I'm going to put the bicycle in the car and then next time we see us, it will be in Belgium at the powder coater. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, now let's crack on, shall we? One quick tip that I forgot to mention is all the parts that you're gonna put off your bicycle, just put them in a bucket like here. This way you will not forget any parts and uh, no parts will get lost. Let's continue.
All right, guys, so we finally stripped the whole frame down, which wasn't an easy job because the cuffs were pressed in very hard, so it was really tough to get these things out. But yeah, the frame is finally done. Only uh, these things here I have to get rid of. <laughs> I need to find the right Allen key. But we're gonna put this in the box now, which is here. Put this in the box, uh, put this in the car, and then get cracking. It doesn't quite fit, but yeah, we'll see. <laughs> So the guy, Rafael, he's already taking the bike frame. So yeah, hopefully everything will be fine. I just pick up the frame that we got powder coated. Yeah, this is where it all happened. We are in Belgium. And uh, here's the frame, guys. Look at it. <laughs> Isn't that a nice blue? What a stunning bike. The fork is here, already wrapped up. So I think he did an awesome job, awesome job. <laughs> Now I have finally a bike with a color that I wanted.